Hello shrimp and fish people. Just want to give you an update on my current tanks and my project. I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna build a shrimp rack, new shrimp rack, and so that, that's in the pro, uh, process of being built right now. So I want to show you where I'm at. <clears throat> so you can see uh, what exactly I'm doing. Uh, maybe you can give me some pointers as well for those who have done it before. Uh, maybe first you can, you can see the mess, this room is a mess because I'm working on it. There it is in the corner. First what I'm going to do is just going to go through uh, the tanks a little bit here so you can see the progress. Uh, this is the Golden Bee tank. Right now I got the uh, low grade... Uh, I'm just going to turn the lights off here. Low, low grade crystal shrimps with the Golden Bees and also a new acquisition which I uh, you can see it right there. That's the uh, wild crystal black shrimp. Uh, we got all three here. So all of those gonna have their own tanks soon, hopefully. Uh, tanks doing good. Uh, this tank used to have Bloody Marys as well, uh, which I separated here, and these guys are for sale. And basically, I had two lines of Bloody Marys, and this tank had one of them, and I'm just getting rid of the whole colony here. Yeah, they're nice and red. So yeah, so that's this tank here. The next tank is the pure red line. These guys are doing good. Uh, I had some issues with the water. I was They were doing actually quite exceptionally, but then... Um, my RO unit actually got, got out of whack and uh, so the water was harder than it should have been so I had a few casualties in there um, mainly on the on the babies uh, but there's tons of uh, buried shrimps they're, they're, they're still going strong so yeah so right now I'm actually reducing down the general hardness on it uh, as it was at 6 and I'd like it to be at 3 so I'm slowly dripping it in, basically this, you can see it here, it's been doing this for the whole day. So I did it yesterday, do, um, uh, doing it again today, just slowly. I don't want to shock him, right? So there you go, that's the pure red line. And the only other shrimp in there is the Blue Dream. There's about eight in there, can't even see any right now. Um, one of them is buried. Uh, can barely walk that's how many eggs it has so that's kind of cool uh, there's a few babies there's one that's a juvie and um, there's another one here there's there's quite a few babies still left there's another one there and it's so let's move on to the next one this is the um, crystal white bee shrimp as you can see they are not doing much there's two Females that are saddling up. Uh, tons of Bloody Marys. These guys are a little better strain, I would say. They are really, really dark red, and oh, I just love them. Uh, the crystal white bees. There, there is about, let's say, about uh, 12 to 15 in there. And as I said, two are saddling up. Oh, there is one right there. You can see it. It's saddling up. Focuses. You see the saddle, so that's good. So that's that means there, there gonna, there's going to be babies in there. Other than that, this uh, tank is doing really good. There's tons of uh, plant growth, so that's good. This is my split uh, divided 20 gallon tank, and I'm not happy with this one. Uh, even though after I put the substrate, I have nothing but issues here with uh, hair algae and yeah. There, there's still shrimps on this side here, the snowball shrimps and tiger shrimps. And they're breeding, they're happy, but uh, there's a tiger right there. Snowballs, tons of saddle snowballs. There's Some of them are buried, or buried already, so yeah. So they're doing okay, but um, I'm not happy with it, so I'm gonna take this setup apart, <coughs> this divided unit. And uh, I'm gonna put the uh, snowballs in a different tank. One of the plant attacks that I'm about to do as well. So, so that's it. Um, and then this is the new thing that I'm working on right now. 
This is a 48 by 48 three shelf uh, shelf unit from Uline. It's very sturdy. And the reason why I didn't pick the, the narrower one, which uh, these are 20 gallon 20 20 gallon long uh, fish tanks, I could have fit. Uh, I could have bought the one that it, that was uh, narrower and they would fit really nice. But uh, I picked this one because I want to put some existing tanks uh, in this area here and the upper area and on the top as well. Um, these two tanks here, they are going. They are going to be on top of this shelf as well. So it's a slow uh, work in progress. Hopefully I get it done soon. The uh, filtration on these two are gonna, is going to be a uh, HM filter. And uh, hopefully that's going to be okay. I haven't ran them yet. Well, I have the Cube one and I, I'm, it's, it's really nice. I like it. So we'll see what happens. But both of these are going to be housing... Well, one of, one of them is going to be housing the uh, Taiwan bees. And the other one's gonna be probably the low grade crystal shrimps. I'm not sure yet. We'll see, I guess. This is the uh, it's a five gallon Taiwan bee. There's not many Taiwan bees in there. I'm kind of growing the uh, the colony. I have a few Michelings, female Michelings, and one of them, I believe, uh, uh, made it with uh, another Michelin. So the it looks like there's only four wine red uh, babies what I think they're wine red right at this point they kinda look different than the rest and the uh, and then there's another two buried which should be uh, with Taiwan bees and one of them has eggs that are really really uh, dark like bluish black basically so that should be coming any day now so we'll see what comes out of that one uh, you can see the females hiding uh, underneath that moss there is uh, there's some blue bolts I threw in there, and some of, uh, and a few uh, pandas as well. This one is a panda, but it's more a black king kong than a panda. But yeah, just because of the face, I guess. And also the uh, painted fire reds are in this tank as well, and they're doing exceptionally well as well. Even though the uh, the uh, pH is at six. So yeah, so this is a happy tank right now. Um, the, fir the, the first batch of babies that I had, um, it looks like it was a hundred percent survival rate. So that's good. It's a five gallon tank and one of the most stable ones I have right now. So that's kind of interesting. The only filtration I have in here is the uh, sponge filter. And it's doing the job, I guess. It's moving the water quite well. You can see the bubbles kind of on the back, black background there. I have a breeder box here that I use to quarantine some some uh, shrimps, um, and that's about it. That's the only reason why it's there. So there you have it. That's my project. That's what I'm working on. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.